Well, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Pastor Jeremy, and I'm here with your uh, your weekly Sunday school lesson um, for our Cornerstone Faith Community Church virtual Sunday school. This is week 12, and this week we are looking at uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Um, the title of this lesson is Jesus is the Branch of the Lord. Now, if you were to look outside your window right now, what is it that you see? Um, it's the first part of December. So all the trees in our, in our part of the world pretty much have lost all their leaves. Um, so when you look outside, you might see trees that don't have any leaves. Um, we really haven't seen any snowflakes or at least not significant snowflakes yet. Um, so when you look outside, you probably see some green grass and your driveway and those kinds of things. I want you to take a little closer look, though, at those trees that you might see when you look outside your window. What do you notice about trees? What is it that we know about trees? Well, we know some things, right? We know that they have roots that go deep into the ground, right? And if those roots like were to get caught or something, that tree probably isn't going to live. It needs those roots to get nutrients and water and all those kinds of things and live. It has bark right? Bark is that scratchy stuff on the outside that uh, protects the tree from like bugs and other things. Um, yeah, they might have a, a stray leaf or two still hanging in them. Normally, right, in the summertime and the springtime, there's lots of leaves on trees. Of course, the other thing that we know about trees, right, is that they have not only roots, but they have a, a, a trunk, right? And they have branches, well, today, uh, a man by the name of Isaiah, who was a prophet or a messenger of God, is going to tell us about someone that God has called to be the branch of the Lord. <clears throat> Let's read together from Isaiah chapter 4, and just reading verses 2, 3, and 4. It says, At that time, the Lord's branch will be a beautiful and great branch. The people still living in Israel will be proud of what grows in their land. All the people who are still living in Jerusalem will be called holy. This will be all the people whose names are recorded among the living. The Lord will wash away all of the sin from Jerusalem. He will clean Jerusalem with the spirit of fairness and the spirit of fire. Now, if we think about who God might be talking about here when he says the branch of the Lord, um, we probably realize that he's talking about Jesus. But why? Well, have you ever heard of a family tree? It's not the kind of tree that grows in your backyard, or it's not the kind of tree that we put lights on and light up for Christmas. A family tree is something that helps us keep track of all of the people in our families. Now, right, we have sort of like these groups of our family. We have what we call our immediate family, the ones who live in our household. And then we have what we make, might call extended family, all the other people that we're related to but don't live in our house. And sometimes that can be a lot, a lot of people. And so we use something called a family tree to keep track of how those people are related to us. Did you know that Jesus also has a family tree? We know that God, of course, is Jesus' father. Now, Mary and Joseph, they were called by God to be Jesus' parents while he was here on earth. But there's an awful lot of other people we would need to go through if we were going to trace from God all the way down to Jesus. For example, we'd have to talk about people like Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses and David. And eventually we'll find ourselves at Joseph, his wife Mary, and that little baby Jesus laying in the manger. So, of course, if we were to guess who this branch of the Lord is, God is talking about Jesus. God the Father is the tree. And he is the, the root of that tree. Now his Holy Spirit and all of the men and women who have believed before us make up the trunk or the stump of that tree. But Jesus, God's son, is called the branch that comes out of that tree. And you and I 
are usually referred to as the leaves, the ones that bear fruit for Jesus. Well, obviously, if a leaf doesn't have a branch to be connected to, then it can't possibly bear fruit. It can't do good things. So Jesus is the branch of God's tree. He connects us, the leaves, back to the trunk and the root of God's tree. You know, while we're talking about Jesus's family tree, God's word mentions a man by the name of Jesse. Now, Jesse was the father of the great king of Israel, David. Because Jesse was the, I'm sorry, because Jesus was the earthly son of Joseph, and Joseph was part of Jesse and David's family, we call Jesus the, the shoot or the branch that comes out of the stump of Jesse or the, the trunk of the tree, Jesse. So from God to Abraham, to Jacob, to Jesse, to David, and then to Joseph, and then we find ourselves at Jesus. That's God's family tree. And Jesus is the branch that connects us, the leaves, to the tree. I hope that maybe the next time you're out driving around with your mom and dad or you go for a family walk or something, you'll look around and notice all the trees. You'll see all the branches and you'll be reminded that Jesus is the branch that God gave to connect us back to him. I hope, <coughs> I hope you guys have a great holiday. I hope you have a very merry, merry Christmas. And I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.